of people think that bluegrass is mountain music, kind of is, kind of isn't, but it's, it's really, like everything else, an evolutionary art form. The fiddle came from the British Isles to America. The mandolin actually has like Italian roots, but they even have sort of Middle Eastern roots if you take it that far back, but it came from Europe. The banjo has African roots. Um, slaves tried to recreate their instruments here, and, and the banjo evolved from out of that. The genre itself is not that old. It's not much older than rock and roll music. It synthesized a lot of traditional elements like folk music and old time fiddle music, square dance music. But then Bill Monroe, he gradually added more things to it um, as he formed his bands. He played mandolin, which not a lot of people did. He sang in a very high tenor voice. He basically created a whole new genre of music all by himself. and. Everyone else that's followed has just been following his footsteps. Till the break of day, when they called her a holler, yo she do, you knew Uncle Finn was ready to go. Hey, it ain't any about sundown, how on the hill in the pub of town. Ladies, little Lord, how to bring you your hat, don't keep the kids. But whenever I've attended an event where bluegrass has been played, whether it's been gospel bluegrass or sort of rock bluegrass with old crow. The environment is so fun and so energetic and I think that's that's why it's hard not to like it. It's real people playing this music. It is people playing in classrooms. It is people playing on front porches. And the fact that they're Radford employees just brings that home even more. I do it every semester because I think we're right in the heart of Appalachia and not to experience it firsthand is a shame and not everybody's going to go to a music event. The coffee mill, it's, it's a good vibe there for that kind of music. It has brought a lot of people together over the years who would have never ever met under any other circumstances whatsoever and they've learned that they can play beautiful music together. The banjo is probably the staple instrument of it. My grandfather introduced me to the, to the music. When I first heard it, I, I absolutely hated it. I came back to it about a year or so later and fell in love and just got the bug, as they say, and just had to play. I like the fact that the atmosphere is very friendly to all ages. You see senior citizens with white hair sitting there tapping their feet, drinking coffee. You see children there dancing and it's a good family atmosphere and yet it's very welcoming to college students as well. themselves don't seem to distance themselves from the audience. They seem very involved with the audience. And so I think that's generally true of, of the genre is that they come to entertain but they want people to have a good time. The skill of the people playing is definitely higher than what I was used to at another gym I used to go to. Uh, I'm always challenged when I go, so that's a good thing. It, they challenge me to become a better player. Another place we played a while back was the Highlander Film Festival with Rock TV. Uh, I got some of the guys together and we played at that. really the soundtrack of our region. It's, um, 
it's what jazz is to New Orleans or what uh, the blues are to Memphis or Chicago. I mean, it's our music. Um, it, it really, it really draws on on the cultures and the history and the legacies of, of this region. And there are just regular folks who can play it. There are people in Radford who don't make a dime playing music, who, who are some of the best musicians you would ever hear, and they just play beautifully. <laughs> The music was just dance music, it was party music, it was house music, it was, uh, you know, not so much different from a frat party today, you know, somebody would um, open up their house and say, we're going to have a big party, people would bring food, the bands would come play, and people would dance on the floor, they could clean out the furniture, the men would drink homemade liquor out in the front yard and get drunk and fight, and then somebody would kick over a, a, a kerosene lamp and the fire would start and everybody would go running out and, you know, and so, so dance was a big part of that. And in fact, one, one reason why a lot of people didn't like musicians was because it encouraged the dancing. And especially the fiddle, because you couldn't have a good square dance without the fiddle player driving it. And so, um, so that was one reason why the, the fiddle earned the nickname Devil's Box. It was the devil's instrument. Thank you.